What's up, everybody? We have some Milwaukee deals today over at Home Depot. And these are not special buys like the deals from yesterday. These are just going to be ongoing for the next few weeks or so. But before we get into the deals, I want to invite you to the Facebook group. I post a lot of deals here first. And plus, we have other members posting deals. Look, Ryan just posted one five minutes ago. So join the group if you want to be first in line for all the tool deals and there'll be more things I'll be sharing in the group in the future. Also, if I help you save a few dollars today, please consider leaving me a little tip in the little special thanks area below. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to make this full time so I can bring you guys good information on the daily. So with that said, let's go again to the video. All right. So yesterday I want to address that I did make a mistake. There were two deals and one involved the regular impact Milwaukee and then the other one was the surge impact driver now I'm trying to figure out why they made the surge if any of you can you know fill me in on what the point of that tool is that would be great because it only does 450 inch pounds it only has 450 inch pounds of torque and Whereas now this is a M18, but we talking about the M12. The M12 I think is 1,800 uh, inch pounds, and I just don't understand. Or maybe it's 1,200. I don't know. It's, it's I think it's 1,200. Regardless, it's way more than 450. I, I know it's supposed to be quieter and have less vibration, but you also a real weak tool, so you shouldn't be that loud and you shouldn't shake that much. So, what was your point? It's saying it's compact, but but the M12 is quite compact itself. So is the M18. So I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the point of buying it personally. But somebody let me know because, you know, I don't want to put wrong information out there. But anyway, we have this M18 fuel impact driver. And it is rated at 2,000 inch pounds of torque. That's a lot of torque for an impact driver. Uh, and that's, to me, pretty much all you'd ever need now. It's 149, but you can add a free gift for 119. Add on the boat, add both the cart. Now let's try that again. I had to empty the cart because <laughs> there's too much stuff in my cart as it was. So we're gonna add it, add both the cart. Here we go. This thing becomes $82.84. Not bad at all for a really good impact driver. Moving on, we have this Milwaukee blower. Okay. It's 120 miles per hour and 450 cubic feet per minute. This number represents how much volume, let's say if it was leaves. So it, this, this number dictates how much volume of leaves or how many leaves you can blow at one time on one pass. So this is actually pretty high. Um, so this is very good. Again, if you add your battery here and this battery is 149 not 119 like the last one you add both the cart you get this thing for 89 dollars and 81 cents again a very good deal there on a good blower now moving on he over here to the angle grinders now this is not a fuel angle grinder but i did bring the fuel variants up so over here we have the 2980 and we have the 2880. So the 2880 is the older model, but it was still good. And this 2980 is a newer model. This 2980, um, one of the differences is you can change the wheel without using a tool. Whereas um, I don't know if you have that capability on this 2880. I had the 2780 and you needed a tool. Um, and I definitely know on this one, you need a tool as well. I mean, we can look at it right there and see that you need a tool to remove it. But the 2980, you don't need that. Uh, but the key thing I wanted to go over was the differences, because obviously there's a huge difference in price. The 2980 is 229, the 2880 is 199, and this bad boy here, uh, what, what model is this? The 2680, like I said, I had the 2780. The 2680, is 129 which is a really good deal right like that's a really reasonable price for a quality tool so what are the differences that's a hundred dollar difference so for that hundred dollar difference you have to use a tool to change the wheel 
And this is brushed. I'm just hop straight to it. This is a brush tool where the other two are brushless. That is the difference between these and the fuels. The, the non-fuel and the fuel is the difference is they're brushed or brushless. But you see the maximum speed here is still 9,000 RPM. We come over here, we look at the 2880, it's 8,500 and the 2980 is 9,000. But again, they're both brushless. Um, and then the weight is different. The 8,500 uh, is only three pounds. And I'm gonna tell you why the, the 2980 is also heavier. It does up to, a, takes up to a four, uh, excuse me, a six inch wheel. So it's four and a half to six inch wheel. The 2880 is four and a half, five inch wheel. And I believe this is just four and a half. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's, the, that's the, the other difference there. This is also the heavier one out of the bunch, but you're also saving a hundred dollars. So, you know, that's something to consider. Now, this has excellent reviews. Go through and read the reviews, but I don't think this has a really high failure rate like that. But, you know, again, double check yourself. Um, the difference is when it comes to these brush motors, you have to service the, the brushes at a certain time over time. If you use this periodically or you just on occasions, I don't see the need to really go for the fuel version personally. But if you do this every day, all day and you use this at work, I probably not probably I would go for the fuel variants just because. They'll last a little bit longer and you use them more to keep them cooler and all that good stuff. So there you go on the angle grinder. Moving on, we have an M18 hammer drill. And uh, 169 tool only. Again, if you add the free gift, it's just 119. It's this uh, high output 3.0 battery though. That's actually a decent battery, but I never pay for batteries. And I don't encourage you to do it either. So if we add this, I'm going to have to go to the, my cart, though. Well, maybe not. Let's try it. It makes this tool 99.17. It's not a bad price for the M18. Um, you can routinely find the M12 hammer drill on sale for like $100. And generally, you can get the kit, but it is nowhere near as powerful as this M18. Uh, and the M12, I want you to know what I didn't know when I bought the M12 is that it doesn't come with the handle and there's no way you can add the handle. There's no accessory that I found anyway to be able to add the handle to the M12 drill. So me, I prefer the M18 hammer drill. All right. All right, moving on. We're almost done. Um, we have a... Um, Hedge trimmer, Milwaukee hedge trimmer, excellent reviews. I, I've never used it. I, I have a Ryobi personally. I, I use mostly my lawn items are all Ryobi. I, I'm not even going to, I don't like their power tools, but I do like their, their lawn tools. They work good for me. I haven't had any issues except for with that battery and they overnighted me a new battery just like that. So it wasn't an issue. All right. So if we add this to car, it's only 179. It should be like what? 109 or something like that. 9769. $97.69. That's a great deal on a Milwaukee hedge trimmer. And it's a fuel too. So it's a tippy top of the line, 24 inch. Um, you know, make sure you pay attention to the length. If you if you're shopping around, like looking at the Ryobi variants and all of that, I don't think they're 24 inches. Uh, I think mine is an 18, and I I think I paid like 80, like between 75 and 100 dollars for it. So this is a really good deal. I would bite on this if I didn't have the Ryobi. Now, moving on, our last deal for the day. And this is a new lower price. So this isn't a sale. Um, it is the Milwaukee shop vac or this little wet dry vacuum. Um, this is not the one that connects to the pack out though. Now, how is it? I don't know. I have, I have no experience with it. I have the rigid uh, wet dry vac and it is really good. Um, and I think the rigid is three gallons. All right, so we have the rigid up, and yes, it is three gallons, and I actually bought this for $99. $99 for this, it's two gallons. Ah, uh, that's something to consider. <laughs> it's two gallons, that's something to consider. Um, we usually, though, when you're dealing with these small handheld ones, 
I haven't had an issue with my three gallon like filling up. Usually I'm not, you know, I'm dumping it in between it needing to fill up that much. So you use these not for pumping out basements or nothing like that. It might be like if you you doing some work changing the wax ring on your toilet or something or doing a repair to the flapper or something inside the toilet, you flush it and whatever residue is left, you suck that up. That's not going to be more than a gallon of water. Uh, my basement flooded the other day and I just had puddles and random spots. And I used the ridge just fine. I just, I dumped it a couple of times, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't cumbersome to do. So anyway, you don't want anything real heavy. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm just talking a lot right now. I think this is a good deal. Like I said, I paid 99 for my rigid. I like it. This one's the new price is 99, actually cheaper than the rigid. So I will obviously go this route before going to rigid. Just keep in mind that the rigid does have a lifetime warranty and you don't even have to fill out an LSA. It just, that is its standard warranty is lifetime. The Milwaukee is probably five years. It might be three years though. Cause they cut corners with these. No, it's five years. So five year warranty on that. So keep that in mind. I'll never have to buy another one. I'll just keep using sending in the rigid you know after a few years you're gonna have to buy a milwaukee so anyway that's it for today hopefully this was informative hopefully it helped you save some money and i will see you guys next time